uh, total recovery at the RBG property. Of course, it involves education, stewardship outreach, um, habitat quality improvement activities, of course, uh, increasing recruitment and reducing adult mortality rates. This is the portion of the turtle site specific recovery plan that involves increasing recruitment. When nests are laid on or directly beside RBG property and they are laid in areas that are likely to not be successful because of where they were laid, for example, on a service road, in a garden that is slated for renovation, um, in an adjacent landowner's backyard. Sometimes even we get uh, accidental uh, dig ups from gardeners that are conducting their work and accidentally they disturb us because they didn't know it's there because turtles can be amazing at hiding things because they've evolved to keep them hidden. And in those cases, we will retrieve the eggs for incubation and then once the babies hatch we release them within one week of when they hatch into the water body that is closest to where the nest was laid this nest in particular was laid up at the laking garden it was accidentally disturbed but fortunately all of the eggs hatched and as you can see they are ready to go uh, the odds of them surviving a, a research paper i read estimated about one out of every 1400 to one out of every 1800 snapping turtle eggs that are laid are likely to reach adulthood. I can't say if those odds are the same for painted turtle nests, but the odds are definitely against them. However, with incubating the eggs and releasing them once they're hatchlings, we've gotten them past their most vulnerable point, which is when they're eggs in a nest cavity because they have absolutely no defense.